The rose. A rose has three parts: the petal, two leaves, and flower stem. Let's start from the petal. We'll use red yarn. Working into a chain, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. First, make a slip knot in this way. Place the hook under the yarn. Twist the hook anti-clockwise to wrap the yarn. Pins to cross over are the yarn. Yarn over the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. Pull the yarn tail to tighten the loop. A slip knot is made. In round one, start with twelve chain stitches. Yarn over the hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Such a V shape is formed on the side. Continue to work chain stitches. We need to finish twelve chain stitches in total. Twelve V shapes stand for twelve chain stitches. Turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work one single crochet in the second chain stitch. Skip one chain stitch and work one slip stitch in the next chain stitch. Then work two chain stitches. Then work one single crochet in the same stitch. One petal is done. Skip one chain stitch and work one slip stitch in the next chain stitch.
There were two chain stitches. There were one single crochet in the same stitch. The second pedal is done. Skip one chain stitch and one slip stitch, two chain stitches, and one single crochet in the next chain stitch. The third pedal is done. Skip one chain stitch and put one slip stitch, two chain stitches and one single crochet in the next chain stitch. Fourth pedal is done. Skip one chain stitch and move one slip stitch, two chain stitches and one single crochet in the last chain stitch. Five petals are done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving the yarn tail. Pull the yarn tail out. Tie the knots with two yarn tails. The rose petal is completed.